Today we're going to show you how to change the timer on your dryer. That's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we're going to need to do is to disconnect power to the dryer. So simply locate the cord and unplug it from the receptacle. Or if it's a hardwired dryer, locate the fuse panel or breaker panel and disconnect the power at that source. Next we're going to start by removing the timer knob, so just pull it straight off of the shaft. And you'll note that there are two quarter inch hex head screws that secure that timer to the console, so you can go ahead and remove those. Then next we're going to remove three Phillips screws from across the top of the console. Then we'll grasp both sides of that console. We're just going to release the feet on the bottom and just push back slightly on that console and then roll it forward. That will access the timer. So we'll next need to remove all of the wires attached to the timer. And while we're doing that, just check the terminals and make sure there's no signs of any arcing or corrosion. And if so, we'll need to replace those terminals. I take note of the location of each of the wires or take the new timer and remove one wire and attach it to the new one at the same time. Now all of the terminals are color coded on the timer as well so you shouldn't have any problem reconnecting them. And if they're on there pretty snugged, take your needle nose pliers and just pull them directly off of the terminals. We'll discard the old timer. And now we can go ahead and put the new timer in. So we're just going to reconnect all of the wires in the proper places, including the ground wire. And check and make sure all of those connections are nice and tight. And then we can place the timer into the opening. And we'll line up the two holes for the screws. So we'll start by putting one of the screws in first. And then carefully rotate the timer to line up the second one. Then make sure that we have that shaft lined up in the center top to bottom in that opening. Then secure the screws tightly. And then line up the four tabs on the bottom of that console. Rotate it down into position and just pull it forward to make sure it's locked. We'll install the three screws across the top and then reinstall the knob just to make sure that the metal insert is still in the knob. Push it firmly onto the shaft. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.